Good morning, ST Squad. How are you guys? Good morning. Tell ST Squad, good morning. Good morning, guys. Yes, so today is Sunday. And it's a bit sunny. A little bit, but I'm so happy. When it's sunny, I'm happy. So now it's early morning. It's, it's not even 9 o'clock yet. And I'm chefing it up. Chefing it up in the kitchen. You know? Guys, I have a new pot. I'm so excited. Normally, I can't believe this wouldn't let me get excited. Normally, these things don't let me get excited. Sorry for the noise because I'm riding and whistling at the same time, you know? I'm washing. Uh, let me speak loudly. We get new pot. I'm excited. So I can use this one instead of this is the rice and base part. Well, well soon for sale. So this is what we used to use. You see how big this is? And I got the smaller version. I'm excited for your oh, pot. We can't really need this. This is not me. I get excited for those things. That means I'm growing up, guys. That means I'm becoming an adult now. You know how you guys get excited for home stuff like furniture and stuff like that? That's me. I'm becoming like that as well. Do you have everything on Joshua? So, I told Devon to take out because I had meat season from January in my fridge. So, Devon said, take out a bag. When I bang them, who put one of my upstairs? But it was upstairs, but it wasn't that much. So, we already, we already told about that. Good brother. So, it's, a, it's not, um, not much. So, I'm going to cook it. And then, and then I'm going to cook. Curry. Wait a minute. Curry. Shrimp. They even know like the shrimp that I have, but. Let's do it the proper way. If you have a paintbrush, go on down the road. He said, Don't do it. Paintbrush, I don't do it. May I see for all our vibes? Don't disturb me. Okay. Your money to know where tools and get up. Right? So yes, let me feel proud when you can tell me exactly where that the guys the oxtail is finished. The oxtail finished cook. And the rice and the peas, my friend the peas. We put the peas to soak from about four o'clock is no allow me at him. About well, 5 15 yesterday, we put the piece for soap. And. Mm, uh, so now, I'll know, like 30 minutes now, it's still not get soft. But people say, when they put them piece of soap and then boil it the next morning, they no pressure peas. They boil it next morning quick. They say they no pressure peas. But I like to pressure peas. It go faster to me. Instead of soak it, I'm just pressure it. But people say, Everybody, so tell me what what you guys think. Is it quicker to um to just soak the peas from overnight and cook it the next day? How fast it is, or is it quicker for you to just put it in a pressure cooker? And it, do um it gets soft very quickly. For me, I prefer to put it in a pressure cooker. Quick, but I'm trying. I've been doing it like this way for quite a while, but boy, I like to cook fast. Yeah, that's so bad, but I cook, I like to cook fast. Because normally, it don't take me more than two hours in the kitchen. Because I always prep from the day before. That's with me. If I'm cooking, I have to prep. Like, even if, like, for example, if I'm cooking, like, dumping on the rice, you know? My, prep, my, my, my vegetables and my onion and my pepper and everything, prep it. That's what I mean. 
I, I, you see, if I don't, that's the person I am. I ha always have to prep myself. Even if I have an assignment, I can't just jump in and do the assignment. I have to take baby steps. So first, I prep. Like this week, we prep, get materials. The next week, we get to, to get to work. You get me? And like for me, you know, look at this. Like tomorrow, now I have work. I can't get up tomorrow and iron my clothes. I have to do it from today. You get me? I always have to ready. I want to put everything in one place. That's what I do. I put everything in one place. I don't want to be... Remember, I don't want to go to work, right? So when I get up in the morning, I run up and down and I do this and stress out. I'm already stressed enough to wake up early. Talking about work. Yes. So, guys, I'm going to finish uni. I think I got... I have three more assignments. So yes guys, so I was um I think I'm finishing uni this year. Cause the first when I started, they told me that I would finish in August. Cause you have to tell me when I'm gonna finish, you know. Let me see if it's something that I wanna do. So they told me I was gonna finish August and I start last July and they said I was gonna finish in August. So hopefully I finish in August. Yes, yeah. so I'm twenty seven now, right? So I want to know if it's okay for me not to know what I want to do. First, I thought I know what I wanted, like what career I want to go in. But then thinking, you know, I don't know if that's what I want. Because as I see something, a different opportunity, I'm ready for that one. It's like I told myself that when I'm leaving the job that I'm at now, I don't want to be running up and down from this job. I want to go in. So like the feel, the feel I want to work in. But I know I wanted to work, do like a local, like a local office, like insurance. Like that's what I wanted. That's what I set my mind on. Like since years, eh? you know, like to be an insurance broker. So no, I don't want to like sell insurance. I want to like do claims because that's the it can start from there and then go up. I want to be in an organization where you can grow. You get me. So I can keep on step up the ladder. There are different departments where you can work and get big money. So I know they can do that in insurance. Then I was thinking, oh, maybe I want to be an immigration officer. But then I said, Lord Jesus, no, sir. Because you know those one at the airport, the one that check your passport. But I said, no, sir. I don't want to do that again. Because, you know, with those jobs, you have to really be serious, you know, and strict. And then for me, sometimes when I hear people's situation, I don't know. It's just different. So for me, I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. And then I start looking at being a police. And I mean, look, look. You see, I have three stages. I'm asking, Lord Jesus. And then I start thinking, say, Lord Jesus. No, but I want me police. But mm -mm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm thinking, I should know before the year finish. The job that I'm in now, I got nice people there and stuff like that. You know, it's not, it, even though, it's okay, it's okay. Because, you know, you still make your little money and you got good people around you. You know, sometimes that help when you're at the workplace. Sometimes the job piss you off, but then the people can make you laugh and stuff like that. I've been working at my workplace, guys. Most of you guys know where I work. I've been working there for, since I came in the UK. That was my first job. Hold on to that, you know, that... That job let me achieve loads of things in life, you know? And it's so flexible as well. It's so flexible. And I have a good relationship with my managers and stuff like that, you know? Very flexible. So that job is an advantage for me. So, you know, I don't want to just leave it like that. So, I'm trying. You know, sometimes I ask people what they want to do and they don't know. So, I kind of feel, I don't feel real too, too bad because I'm like, okay, it's not just me. Is it okay for me not to know what I want to do? You know, I'm getting old. But well, I know I want to do something. And then, sometime, I say, Lord Jesus. No, I can't get, but I forget about doing the 95, Monday to Friday. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what I want. Every time I change my mind. Last year, I say, yes, this is it. And, oh. Pray for me, guys. I need... To make a move 
Then, every time I say, all right, then I go for one more holiday, then start going at the, the job world, so hunt. But then, hunt for what? First, I start looking on customer service advice, and then I say, Lord Jesus, something I do with some customer, you know? and then I say, I don't know what I want to do. And then, I would love to be at home, work, I don't know. I would alright then. I think I'll do like office job for a while, like give two years, and then, then me I say more I'll go do my own business, self-employed. Yeah, me say. You know you can open. You know most shops like at Uber Eats. You know I don't remember what's the thing called in America where you can order food online and it deliver like cook food, like from restaurants. You know you can have, once you have a good kitchen you can cook and only do delivery. I don't think he said, do I want to do that? And he said, no, sir, my house, I just want to touch food. I'm... Then I start thinking about the lashes course, you know, you can make money from that. But then I said, Lord Jesus, can't bother. First, I think about it, I'm going to text the people them and I say, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then when it's time to do it, I don't no bother one and that. And then I say, it's good to have a skill, at least I know it's me, because the life that I want to live. I don't need for the inner one company sit down. I don't want to be, I want to be traveling. You get me? I like to go to different countries. That's what I like. So I want a job that allows me to do that. So even if I have a job like YouTube, yeah? But I don't want to depend. I can't do it. I, I don't want to depend on YouTube only. So guys, I don't remember where I left off. But I was saying that it's not good to put all my eggs in one basket that's why i want to always be in employment i don't want to like do youtube for a living even though trust me you can you can but things can change anytime you get me because every time youtube changes as well so things can change in a quink in a blink of an eye you get me so there's opportunity there because I would love to like go different countries and record and stuff like that. Yeah. I can do that. Guys, so this is my small plate. So I'm going to eat this now for breakfast. It's 10 o'clock now in the morning. So I'm going to eat this now. SC squad, we need to give a testimony. God is good. Thank you. I was locked. Not even I. Me and David was locked out the house. David outside doing some things. They asked me for my help. Went and helped him. I put a little jacket on. Went to help him. Ready to come back in the house. Can't get in. I had to call locksmith. Everybody. I don't remember the last time when locksmith came. He used a little car thing. And we were there trying with the tools outside to get in. Cool. I let me more on pee Me not have my phone. Oh my God. It was so crazy. I, need, I didn't have my phone. I didn't have nothing. And I'm saying that even, even if we had a key, we still wouldn't get access because there's already a key in the door from inside. I'm telling you guys, thank God we did lots of things. 80 pound, you know, to come and fix the to let us in 80 pound. And the guy said, I should send him my address. And they went trying and trying and trying over it. Thank you, Jesus. I was cool. Look, cool. I know this year. Thank you, Jesus God. It's good. Look on the outside. I'm just going to find 80 pound. Cha cha, Father God, you're good. Luckily, it's just one lock. The door was just a slam lock was on. So we didn't, you know, yeah, there's two locks. There's a slam lock, then there's an extra lock that you turn the key in. You get it? So, luckily, you understand what I'm saying? Nice. So there's a slam lock that the door is locked automatically from outside. They can't get in. But so this is what, what happened, guys. So this lock, the door is locked now. So David can't get in. I didn't lock you with any key, but David can't get in. But I can come out like this. But he can't open it and get in without a key. So luckily, it was just this one that was locked when when I went outside. So I could easily open the door. Because it's just this. Just push that in. And get in the door we tried even we screwed off the thing i was trying to put my hands through this to get the key from here and my hands couldn't fit oh my god it was so bad okay sd squad bye hope you guys enjoyed this video bye bye